gameplay as well as show you guys how what's up guys welcome to today's video i'm gonna show off some traffic responding gameplay as well as show you guys how to use the command system at the time of this video this update will be live on the testing branch and it will be hitting the default branch on march 28th after about a week of bug fixing some optimizations and some additional content um, the traffic spawning is going to be adjusted it's just some numbers we have to mess around with till we get something that feels good but cars move out of the way for you so got some smoke showing I'm gonna go ahead and lay out All right, to use our new command system, what you want to do is you want to go into your emergencies tab, click on the address, and establish command. From there, you can open the drone mode. Default is the END end key, and I'll pop you in here. You have a new menu, and there's a couple things you can do on this menu. The first thing, if you want to relay something to all players on the server, you can. You hit report and it'll say the address command and then whatever your message is spawn unit tab over here every time you spawn a new unit it'll appear here and you can remove it at any time for all emergencies you start off with just two units available if you upgrade the box to a working alarm just signifies that you have a good fire going do it again and you get two more units you can go all the way up to six alarms which gives you 12 units once again, this may be balanced and changed as we go through the week to see what works and what doesn't. Um, the amount of units on scene can be adjusted, as well as a few other things. Um, you can't upgrade the box anymore, but every time you upgrade the box, it redispatches it. Station alerts go off, tones go off, the whole nine yards. At any time, you can pass command. Doing so will allow another player to take command. However, any units you have spawned will remove themselves. By the time this update hits the default branch, there's going to be a manual option for players to put the scene under control. Um, real quick, before it gets too dark, we're going to pause the game. We're going to go to host options, and we're going to pause time. Also added an option for random emergencies on or off. If you're role playing, you can turn them off so you always have to force a call. You can also, as a host, lock and unlock the truck deletion so only you can delete trucks. So someone can't just join your game and remove all your trucks. Anyway, so we're back in here. Um, this evac tone button doesn't have too much use yet. Um, you click it and some tones play and then it displays orderly evacuation declared. Um, this is if changes are if the situation is getting worse um i haven't updated in this build the fire yet but it will be coming to be more aggressive there's a new units tab it shows the status of every truck in the county which we'll go over in a bit you have your ai menu which allows you to spawn things so i'm going to go over which each thing does so fire suppression anything fire related it'll put out um it prioritizes propane tanks first and then moves to like the less threatening fires all you do is click left click on that and then you'll have this little guy here and kind of move around and place them as you please so something to note is he looks towards whatever fire he's aiming at currently um, he does use water in the trucks better whatever nearby if, he, if there's no truck nearby or there's no water they'll automatically clear up until you get water um, forceful entry they go around and they start breaking all the doors in the house you'll see them kind of teleport around in front of the doors ventilate structure this is a master remove smoke thing this is mainly for solo players if you don't feel like dragging the fan to the door you just click it when the fire is out and the smoke are removed. Um, primary search, if you have a subject strap, you can kind of place this guy. 
and it simulates doing a search inside. As you can see, our one guy just teleported there. Take care of that door. Um, anyway, the primary searches have a less likely chance of finding the victim, and secondary searches have a higher chance, as it's a more thorough search. You can only do your secondary after your primary has been completed. Next up, we have the demolition team. These guys destroy everything. They take the windows. They destroy ceilings. If it's destructible, plywood, whatever, they destroy it. Um, saw team, same thing. They cut anything available. Um, the venting for them isn't set up on this emergency yet, but it will be by the time it hits default. But they pretty much cut. Anything that's cuttable, they'll cut. Bars, whatever. Um, the hazmat guys. So... If you're on a hazmat emergency or even if you're on one of these fires with rooms that haven't activated yet, there's always a chance it could turn into a hazmat so these guys can find barrels and patch up leaks. Um, just a side note that you'll still have to turn off the valve on the leaky pipes one. Um, and if you guys didn't catch it, our search team did manage to recover a victim. Um, eventually, I'm going to update it so there can be multiple victims, and I'm also adding victim spawns to every emergency for the most part, so there's a better chance of having a victim just to give everybody something to do in the fire ground. Last but not least, we have our firefighter rescue team, also known as RIT. The reason they're named this instead of RIT is because there's a lot of players who aren't in the fire service, and it would confuse them. So I'm going to demonstrate what the RIT does. So this, all this stuff works completely in multiplayer. So, but if we go down, the RIT team will go in action, no matter where we are. They'll kind of get us picked up. And they'll get us out. This would be fixed this coming week. I've been working on this bug where they don't bring you out. But by the time it's finished... On the default branch, they'll rescue you and pull you out. You can place pretty much as long as you have available units avail um, available units to use. You can kind of place people anywhere you want. Um, I also you can place them inside too if you wish. If you wanted to role play and everything else, um, there's also going to be a portable radio system coming by the time this hits default, which will allow you to spawn units on the fly without being in the drone mode. Um, so I'll kind of show you guys. Let's see if we can get a good spawn there. there we go. So I'm going to add masks and stuff to them so it makes sense for them to be inside. There's also in the future going to be a chance that your guys can go down. And basically what's going to happen is if you have a mayday, that if you don't have a red team established, you'll permanently lose that person. Um, but if you do, there's a chance they may find them. It's not going to be a 100% chance. So there's always going to be a chance that you lose people. And what happens when you lose them is you permanently lose that available unit slot on that particular call. Once the call happens again, it'll be reset, but like if you're on like a six alarm and you have 12 units, you'll have a max of 11 now. Um, once again, this is all going to be balanced. Um, it's kind of like a numbers game with getting a lot of this stuff done. Um, something else I want to show off. I do not remember if it made it into the devlog. I think it did, but with the New York hook, you can now clear the blockages. Um, soon there's going to be a poking forward animation, I guess thrusting forward, and you'll be able to take windows, blockages, plywood and stuff. When the truck company update comes, there's going to be even more uses for the hook, which that's a couple updates down the line. It's like four or five from now. So, But this is a quick overview of my command system. Um, and then real quick, I'll show you that all you have to do is click remove. And you have everything back. Um, it's very important. So when you're in this drone mode to get into the spawning mode, all you have to do is left click and you'll have access. And then you just hit exit to get your free cam back again. 
So, and then if you see above the spawn unit, it says right click to cancel. You can right click and then you're back to this menu and you can just exit everything. So the last thing I want to show off is now that we're assigned to that emergency, if you're in a truck, if you're in a truck, you can hit the F through F6 keys, F1 through F6. F2 is available, F1 is in quarters, F3 is responding, on scene is F4, F5 is staging, and F6 is out of service. So if we hit responding now and we go to the CAD, you can see engine 2 responding to 2 Griffin Drive. Mm, let's go back. Engine 2 is on scene. And it changes color to kind of signify what's going on. So, just something cool that I added. Um, something else that's coming. This is mainly for multiplayer. But... You can ride in the back of this rig in particular now. Um, this will be coming to all of the rigs. I'm upgrading the interiors um, completely. So there's going to be tools, SCB seats back here. All this is getting upgraded. I already pretty much just upgraded the general texture of it. If you can see in the video that it has that, that rough texture that interiors of the fire trucks have.